Okay, let's wait for some time. People are still joining, let's wait for them. Okay. It's already three minutes. Uh, we should start talking like right? yeah yeah sure okay let's officially start the session everyone uh, we are also we are also getting participants and present there are nine viewers <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome to the first session of your talents special yt talk here we will be uh, taking interviews of different people around the globe and they will be sharing their experiences with us and it's basically a professional uh, based on a professional perspective so uh, everyone will be benefited so with no further delay let me introduce our guest today uh, our guest today is mr faim rajit hosen he is the academic coordinator and also the co-founder of bangladesh olympiad on international bangladesh olympiad on astronomy and astrophysics and also he is a multi-talented personality started uh, currently uh, summer intern uh, summer research intern at uh, Leiden University Netherlands and currently completing his B uh, Tripoli degree at Bangladesh University uh, Army University of Engineering and Technology. With no further delay, I would like to give the floor to Mr. Faim Rajit Hosen for giving a short introduction about himself. So it's my pleasure that you are having this talk with me. Uh, I'm Fahim. So basically I am a student. I'm a student and interested people, uh, guy about astronomy and other related art sciences topic. So I'm currently doing my research job at Terry University. So I just came up from a research meeting from for our students in Leiden University and joining you talk joining here with your talk. So 
my work basically surrounds around astronomy and earth science so what i am doing currently with my uh, academic life is i am studying electrical engineering in bangladesh army engineering and university of army bangladesh army university of engineering technology so as you can see that my major and my interest of topic of interest is uh, like two streams different two streams but i'm trying to copy uh, cope the situation as uh, as much as i can so it's difficult to for any bangladeshi student to uh, like doing two different things at the same time but as you know bangladesh has no opportunity to uh, further develop the study of astronomy or, uh, or astrophysics so what we can do is to learn about more about astronomy or related stuff using physics and mathematics but i particularly chose electrical engineering because electrical engineering has some uh, sections uh, that will help me i think it will help me in the future so electrical in engineering in we talk about signal processing uh, signals electrical circuits and other things and in this particular section in signal processing uh, we can use this uh, topic of study in astronomy in further studies as you can know as you know astronomy is all based on data and signal processing so in this regard i believe electrical engineering will help me in the future and i hope to like use my current knowledge to apply for a master's degree in astrophysics uh, that's the plan right now but i hope what goes thank you so much mr fine rajit hussain for such a lovely introduction hope you will have a good time with you tonight our participants number has also increased and everyone is sharing the stream so that other people could see it okay with no further delay i uh, i actually our system is we are going to have a question and answer session and i will basically ask you some questions that are commonly asked by everyone who wants to pursue in astronomy or astrophysics olympiads and so on my first question is do you think that participation in astronomy and astrophysics olympiad is lower than other olympiads in bangladesh because astronomy is a theoretical subject and presently it has no application inside this country uh this is based on your perspective okay so yeah yes there is a norm that astronomy olympiad is lesser than any other olympiad the particular physics olympiad or mathematics olympiad uh the thing is astronomy is not a academic subject in our country right now so which one are the academic subject physics and biology and mathematics so in our school life and or college life we can learn about physics mathematics from the core from the basics but astronomy we don't have any opportunity to learn astronomy from the, our school life so that's why there is a norm that astronomy in olympiad is lesser in international communities also i have seen that the people are looking down upon astronomy olympiad but astronomy olympiad as it is new it's only like 14 years old that which i am talking about international olympiad on astronomy and astrophysics is only 14 years old and already there are 47 countries participating in the olympiad it is and it has been successful but the norm that uh, people are looking down upon astronomy olympiad it's based on your perspective all olympiads have uh, some respect respect and uh, all, all all other olympiad is unique so if you if you want to do any contest uh, be that an olympiad or be that a man or be that a debate competition it has its own fan base and it has its own parity so i don't believe in looking down upon any particular olympiad or uh, sequencing an olympiad according to their uh, fan base or any particular uh, criteria to uh, list them 
yes there is uh, some kind of list that uh, i have seen that astronomy olympiad in bangladesh particularly comes in fifth or sixth place sixth place but it based upon the uh, initial uh, thing that what we have present and what the information is available for particular olympiad yes there is more information available for mathematics olympiad or physics olympiad but there is there are less information available for astronomy olympiad that's why maybe it's not that popular but maybe in future uh, maybe i hope that astronomy olympiad becomes becomes more popular and it moves up to the uh, higher in the list but it doesn't mean that astronomy olympiad is nothing is anything less than any physical olympiad or mathematical olympiad yes uh, in astronomy we have you have to you have to study a lot more because it's not your academic subject but what you can not do is uh, like looking up down upon astronomy olympiad as it is like not a, as it is not uh, like any any alien subject alien subject or something astronomy is a fundamental subject astronomers do a lot of things similar to any physics and mathematics and also data scientists astronomy has a very big part in data science also in physics even also you, as you know that astrophysics what comes from physics and astro- combining the word astronomy and astrophysics so it's upon you to judge but i won't be the judge to uh sequence or list any olympian in part- any in any particular criteria so if you are interested in astronomy you want to participate just that's just participate don't it doesn't mean you have to uh, look for people to give you uh, hope that astronomy olympiad is more popular go to that popular olympiad you will be more successful you will be known by people don't do that you do any olympiad because you love to study that particular topic or you want to uh, like communicate or build a network among those themselves or those uh, those people who are interested in similar topics exactly thank you so much actually it's also a bit of uh, misunderstanding it missed all of us in bangladesh that only physics olympiad or only mathematics olympiad can take me high people yeah. just don't i mean don't explore other olympiads or don't explore what their personality really matches with so i also ex- we all expect that this prob- this misunderstanding this misconception is going to be yeah read off get rid okay yeah you can see that physics olympiad as you say or mathematics olympiad is older so they have built build it built up a large fan base or large community that now they are into mathematics olympiad or physics olympiad but for us the people uh, organizing astronomy olympiad or uh, relating our to the astronomy community our community is barely developed we are not, just barely started and in it's like it's been only 3 years for our my organization bangladesh olympiad on astronomy and astrophysics and the journey of bangladesh uh, astronomy olympiad in bangladesh is uh, particularly old but the real thing started just few years back so i can say that astronomy olympiad own uh, gain more reputation but it's up to the students to decide what olympiad they are going to participate please don't participate in any particular olympiad because it will uh, bring you more fame do it because you learn you want to learn and you just want to know more about that particular subject exactly that should be the motto of every person not only olympiads or as or pursuing in astronomy but in every aspect of life yes thank you so much mr faim rajit hosen uh, we will be moving on to our second question the second question is you are a lover of a theoretical subject like astrophysics and astronomy 
then why did you choose to study in Tripoli, not in astrophysics? What is, was it your failure that you were not able to get into any other universities where major in astrophysics is available? Or it, was it for your own choice that you took an engineering subject as a major to pursue masters in astronomy in the future? So as I, I already said that I have done, I had a chance to study physics in Dhaka University or I had a chance to study other subjects in any other subject like geology or maybe mathematics or any uh, basic sciences or physical sciences in any reputed university in Bangladesh. But what so also when I was applying, uh, I was uh, preparing myself for the admission of Bangladesh, I was also applying for US, US universities. So the first year, as I started very late, and my uh, regional admissions or Bangladesh admissions are nearing, I didn't, I couldn't apply for the US that session, but next session I tried to, I was preparing for the whole year for US admission. And in the meantime, I thought that I have uh, opportunity to study physics, but I don't particularly like, or you can say, I don't want to uh, do a physics major. That, uh, that's totally on my choice because I like astronomy, but I don't really want it to know about physical stuff in that depth. But I believe electrical engineering has some uh, hands-on experience uh, that can 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 give me electrical engineering so what i felt best for myself in bangladesh studying in bangladesh that if i want to pursue astronomy later on and also i want to survive in bangladesh in this particular environment of educational studies in bangladesh I can choose electrical engineering. I could have chose uh, uh, computer science. It, it would be a great choice also because computer science has a great relation with astronomy. But I chose electrical engineering that because I like electrical engineering, the, the stuff introduced to electrical engineering. And also I believe there is a connection between uh, astronomy and electrical engineering. So it, as I have previously mentioned that electrical engineering has some uses in astronomy. As you can say, there are many space agencies working on space technologies, right? Like ECA, NASA, NASA is very popular. So electrical engineering as an electrical major engineering matter, if I can go to uh, astrophysics major in later in future, I still can use my knowledge to use hands-on experience on uh, space technologies. Okay, that's my okay. that's my reasoning. So my reasoning can be different from any other student. Most of the uh, students who, are, who want to part, uh, who want to pursue astronomy later on uh, future, they pre will prefer physics. But my reasoning is, if I could not, would not, uh, or I, if I cannot uh, join astronomy as a researcher. I can also join as the engineer in space technology. That's my reason. Okay, okay. okay. And another question is that, uh, can you show me an example of a person who has turned into an astrophysics from an electrical engineer? Uh, the biggest example would be Saida Lammi Ahadapu. She's a PhD researcher in Leiden University. She has... Uh, she has written the most popular Bengali astronomy, Shabat Jun Jyotir Vidya. It was like when I was starting the Olympiad myself back in 2014, it was the first Bengali book on astronomy Olympiad or astronomy, actual astronomy, not pop science astronomy that I read. So she's one of my motivations for choosing electrical engineering uh, for my uh, college studies and also her also, there are many other people I know that, that uh, moved on to astronomy from other subjects. Like today, I talked to a Taiwanese girl who are my research mate. 
she is from Taiwan and she did her college major in philosophy. She, she did on her college major in philosophy with an physics minor. Now she moved on to astronomy major in her masters and doing research on galaxies. So you can see that you don't have to do a particular uh, subject in your undergraduate life to move on to astronomy later on. But you have to, to have strong background on astronomy and uh, mathematical sense to learn astronomy later on. And also my advisor from Lady University said that her classmate from masters, uh, in, she did her uh, masters in Boston University, USA. One of her classmates uh, was doing her major in music. music. But she, later on, she found interest on in physics and astronomy. And later on, she moved on to uh, astronomy in her master's degree. And my advisor did her uh, master's with her. She was her class classmate. So, so wow. there that are many means, examples. That means uh, from uh, music major to master's in astronomy. Wow, astronomy. that's impressive. Yeah. There are many examples, but the major example I can give from Bangladesh is Saida Lami Mahadapu. So uh, there are a lot of examples like I'm that. I'm also a huge fan of her. There are many example, examples like that, but in Bangladesh, as you see, there are scarcity of real astronomer astronomy students so there are few but there there are few examples okay um my another question would be uh before i ask my another question i would like to tell all our viewers that if you guys have any query or any question regarding to astronomy or want to know anything more about our instructor or our guest's life please drop it in the comment we will look onto it Okay, let's wait until someone gives a question and let's move on to our next question. My next question would be, how can theoretical subjects like astronomy and astrophysics be introduced inside a developing country like Bangladesh, where there is no particular field of these subjects? So this is a major concern for any Bangladeshi because if you are interested in astronomy, your parents or someone related to you may ask what you are going to do studying astronomy. It's the basic question. Yes, obviously. So when I started uh, astronomy back in 2014, I was, I was very into astronomy and related things. Uh, one of my uncles said, what do you are going to do studying astronomy? There is no future in of astronomy in Bangladesh and only if you go to abroad for studying astronomy and settle there, then there is a chance. But in Bangladesh, you don't have any so any chance to showcase your talent on astronomy or your showcase your knowledge. So back then, I was not very demotivated, but I tried to uh, keep in keep that in that mind that if there is no uh, opportunity available, I will make opportunities. I will make opportunities and. Uh, if there is no place available to showcase my talent, I'll make this, that place. So that's how I just keep motivating myself. Then now coming to the present, there are still the scarcity of astronomical knowledge or practicing astronomical knowledge. That's why we started our Olympiad, Bangladesh Olympiad on astronomy and astrology. Not because we are, we just want to, uh, do another Olympiad, introduce another Olympiad to youth of Bangladesh. We also wanted to improve the condition of astronomical Olympiad, astronomical education in Bangladesh. As the, our primary goal was to participate in the International Olympiad on Astronomy and Physics and bring some uh, prizes for Bangladesh, which, as, which we are trying to do ever since 2018 and we, we are able to do. We got our first prize in 2018 in our first attempt and ever since we are trying to do better but our next phase of work would be to, that we have created an interested high school group who are interested in astronomy we have created a, a, a group of students from high school and college 
the next phase would be when they will move up to their undergraduate studies they, if they still want to pursue astronomy we, what we are trying to do is we create a group of people who are still an interested in astronomy and i want them to indulge, indulge themselves in our astronomical olympiad participation and volunteering with our olympiad and thus step by step we want to create an astronomical research group in bangladesh with the community i am building up it may take several years maybe still five or six years but eventually we as we are building up the community that are in, that people are interested in astronomy and knows what they are in into astronomy what things are done in astronomy so we are building up a community and i hope in future this community will work on creating something amazing for bangladesh maybe we can create a research group maybe we can introduce astronomy as a subject in any universities i heard that many private universities are working on that also uh, i i hope that in bangladesh when uh, our government starts working on some observatory or i am hearing hearing about uh, news that there will be six more uh, novo theaters so when there will be novo theaters they may need some kind of astronomy experts to uh, run the novo theaters or showcase astronomical uh, or increase the uh, ex- like indulgence of people in astronomy awareness or maybe they can also in- introduce astronomical research using the novo theaters or novo theaters can be used for astronomical research as a main point so there is hope but there is a lot of work to do in bangladesh people are people currently doing astronomical work are basically uh, observational amateur astronomers who are just into astronomy as a uh, observational section but my goal is to introduce astronomy as a research topic in future for bangladesh it may take several years it may take time but eventually i hope and i believe that we will move on to something that is comparable to research or real astronomy that the other people from other countries are doing like data mining or maybe um data uh, manipulation or maybe generating new kind of uh, fields in astronomy or we can also as we have a massive manpower in bangladesh we can also introduce astronomical technology astronomical technology build up or any uh, small companies that build up satellites there are many many uh, contest on uh, building on satellites uh, there are recent few uh, workshops and seminars on satellite building so we hope that when they use this technological knowledge into real life they will re- obviously need some astronomical expert so i hope in near future we'll obviously get some kind of uh, scope in bangladesh and if i want to say it in bangla amra bhabishyate bangladesh e obosshoi bhab pabo thank you so thank much bhai so bhai and another query from your answer is that uh do you want i mean after studying and pursuing a career on astronomy and astrophysics do you want to i mean work on a novo theater basically uh, what basically my question is that uh, there are a lot more aspects of astronomy that uh, are you going to start by uh, going to the novo theaters as an observatory helper okay so what we mean by a novo theater in bangladesh is a very uh, disrespect maybe a disrespectful thing because the current novo theater in bangladesh has no particular uh, importance in astronomy as I, as i can say they show us the uh, video footage of our national father that's okay with me 
but it's nothing nothing like the other country like in other countries planetariums or novotheters are used for astronomy educational outreach also astronomical educational research they use uh, astronomical <coughs> novotheter or planetarium to outreach the importance of astronomy also in the in the rest of the building or rest of the work surrounds around the research or research or data uh, data data mining of the observation uh, astronomical bodies so in sense that if bangladesh does something like that that what real astronomical works or or professionals do in in any particular observatory or novo theater i am willing to do that because it will also help me to outreach astronomy among general people and also do continue doing my research work so but that that's a question mark in our uh, government that will they use the novo theaters in the way that help people also help the educational researchers or, or they will use to i don't I, i suppose i don't know, need to uh, need to or i want to say this that we are we are not here to uh, like increase propaganda of some kind without using the novotheters in a right way so yeah if if there is there is a chance that our government use the novotheters as it should be run then i am willing to do the do any work in novotheters in other countries as, as i have seen in uh, france i went to nice nice the uh, code de azur observatory in nice uh, where there is a observatory so observatory work can be in, can be very uh, joyful and important in our astronomical studies because the data comes from any observatory or any telescopes that they are handling also uh, also also from novo theater we can also collect data from people that how much astronomical education is uh, there for among people how they are viewing the the sky the there are many kinds of data manipulation can be done using astronomical outfit so it depends on how the system goes i can really say that i will be willing to work on a novo theater in bangladesh but if the system has proper meaning then i am willing i understandable that means that you want to be a pioneer right am i if i am not wrong and you want to introduce something in bangladesh that is not there and you want to introduce it so that people could get benefited from it right yes not i'm i'm also looking forward to um improving my condition also by helping others i have very opportunities to improve my self self also because by helping others there is a famous quote by uh, richard feynman the best way to learn something is to teach the particular thing you are learning so that's the uh, method i'm following so yeah i'm trying to do what i love love and trying to spread what i love okay and another question that i would like to ask you is that basically it's not a question it's about uh, from your uh, cv or and or from your uh, template that we made from your talents it has been said that you are a bronze medal holder at the international art science olympiad in back in 2017 if i'm not wrong yes so basically getting achieving something at such an international stage is really competitive and also tough and what uh, and the joy of uh, achieving something it's also huge what was your exp- uh, i mean uh, what was your feelings when you achieved that medal 
So it was back in 2017 where that in that same year I had to pass my ATC examination. So just after ATC examination, the National Art Olympiad happened that year. So I was preparing for university admissions in that particular time. Uh, the news of National Art Olympiad came, and I was participating in that particular Olympiad for like four years. I was part uh, participating in that Olympiad since uh, 2014. It was one of the first Olympiad I, that I participated. So each year I participated, each year I participated, but never got a chance to represent the country in international level. But when the last chance came, I just, I just used the experience and previous study I have done, I had done. Then the chance came to represent myself in France, which was a very delightful moment. But at the same time, I had, a, had to prepare for the university admissions in Bangladesh. I was really, really uh, looking forward to admitting myself in Kuwait, if possible. But that, then, then my priority switches to the event to international Olympiad in France. So there were there was a problem in our visa problem. There was a visa problem in our, our time. So I supposed to get my visa uh, three days or one week before the competition start start, but Unfortunately, due to some reasons, my visa got delayed, and I got the uh, I got my visa at the second day of the competition already started. So what I did, I basically watched the whole inaugurating or opening ceremony of the Olympiad in my room using Facebook Live. Then oh. I commented in the that live that I was supposed to be there, and I saw my guide, international guide, carrying the flag of Bangladesh without me and I'm sitting here watching her carrying the flag of Bangladesh without me in Facebook Live. Then that night, my mentors in, from the Olympiad said that let's try to go to the embassy and let's try for the visa. Let's see what happens. If we got the visa, we'll we, have, we will book the flight right away and we will go to France that same night. So we, are, we aren't sure that we will get the visa in time. And maybe maybe I would, uh, if I go to France, I may uh, have to miss one of the exams. So... <laughs> Which class so were you that, I, mean. uh, I was just... I had just I had just completed my ATC examination that year. So uh, in the third day, uh, uh, we successfully got our visa and we are like uh, very happy. But wow. at the same time, it is because we have to go to France in that particular night at the same night, and I just went there to collect my passport. I didn't know if I I will would get the visa. And then we got the visa and we have to hurry up because the exams in, in two, years, two days and we have to go to France by tonight. So that, that night we booked the flight and went to France. And the whole journey, uh, it was like one of the uh, memorable experiences of, of my life. The whole journey uh, from the airplane window, I showed my one of my friends who, who was my mentor that year. The, see that mountain? That as we are in art science, we uh, study like the features of art and like mountains and the features of the art using like what is physical geography. So in, by without enjoying the scenery the, from the plane, what we are doing is that. Uh, uh, like identifying the kind of mountains there from where we can look. Look, that's a mountain, that's a steep mountain. Uh, maybe there are this kind of particular rock there in the mountain. The feature look like this. So we are doing this. So when I reached France, uh, our guide came to uh, took us to the main venue. She said that your actual Olympiad exam is within a hour and we'll reach the destination but, uh, within 
an hour do you still want to participate in the exam or do you want to reach the destination and take take a rest so i said yes yes i want to go to the exam and give the exam so i just uh, landed on the destination of the exam and went straight in the straight into the exam hall then everyone was look like a guy from a brown guy from maybe bangladesh has come his seat was empty and now he is giving the exam uh, beside me was an australian guy he said best of luck dude uh, then i start, gave my first theoretical exam just 30 uh, 30 minutes back i landed on france and then <laughs> 30 minutes later i was giving the exam so <laughs> both my mentor and i was very worried that as i have already i had exam pressure and i already missed a portion of the exam i went to the exam hall after the lunch break before the lunch break there is a there, there was another portion of the exam which i already missed so we are not that very help, uh, hopeful that we will get any prize but at the last moment when our results were published in the uh, tv screen i saw my name not my name my code b a n 04 so i was like what my name so <laughs> so no one is expecting from me that because i have already missed the exam to get, get a medal uh, i was very uh i had a good friend from india uh her name is punna she is also studying arts science right now uh she also got a uh, honorable uh, she got a also got a bronze medal so we all thought that she uh, she is gonna get a silver medal or bronze medal but when i saw that her name is uh, below me <laughs> i felt like i'm not happy because i got a uh, medal but i'm sad because my friend who supposed to get a silver medal got a bronze medal so that's the feeling that went at that moment later on when i got the medal i realized that yes i'm i got the medal with with so much uh, difficulties i had a sense of uh, joy that yeah the this we took to come to the france is now successful my parents took a huge risk to send me to france because we already uh, missed the inaugurating ceremony also missed uh, excursion and also i also missed the exam so it was a huge relief, relief for me also my family <laughs> and in any case our family would want to ask you that what you are going to achieve from participating in, in this kind of program so then my amu uh, said jack is it that pace that basically at that moment when your parents praise you for what's your passionate about that's like achieving that's like reaching cloud 9 i mean it's uh, that feeling it's such a big memory uh that's like getting an approval from your parents that what you are doing uh, uh the whole your uh, ac- admission time is somewhat like successful <laughs> exactly but later on uh, but later on there was a effect that when i came from france in september i had only uh, one and a half months to prepare for the admission exam uh, that so that that affected my admission preparation so i didn't got into guet but i got into thakai university but later on i decided not to part, uh, go to thakai university because i'm uh, i thought that be in rajshahi my hometown will be more suitable for me to prepare myself for the in you us admission later on well, it's okay so you chose 
your hometown against your fame right not fame uh, a career choice yes exactly and uh, you said that you missed your first portion of the exam and still you got a bronze medal that means that if you uh, even participated uh, and did good in that exam that first portion that you missed you might have had a chance to get something more than bronze did that Maybe. thought ever cross your mind uh -huh. that crosses my mind every time i see the my medal but i'm satisfied with what i am i have i'm satisfied with what was given to me by allah with uh, the almighty alhamdulillah that he has given me chance to participate in the olympics achieving that medal is not uh, what to me because achieving an olympic is a side product for me but uh, but gaining the experience of joining an international olympiad and uh, making so much friends so much connections to visit a new country this is the uh, only experience that will help you later on not the bronze medal maybe the bronze medal can you can, can give you some fame or give you some recognition but what will help you in your life is the experience experience experiences and the uh, friends you have made during that uh, particular uh, program like the friends i have made from that olympiad who are still in touch if they have al already invited me to visit their, their country if now if i go to their country in some in any case i can visit them i can have uh, them as my tour guide or they can help me settle or help me find out a particular thing that's one section of a uh, benefit that you can gain also you are trying to get a huge uh, level of network international yeah. networking the, and the, the international, yeah the international level of network you are getting is the thing which is most precious because this network will help you to connect with more people and your academic or career life obviously if uh, uh, since you got a chance to participate uh, in ieso 2017 and go to france i mean that was also a huge experience for you to vis be able to visit a country at such a young age where many people still haven't didn't get that scope to visit any foreign country and not only that you also got an honor for bangladesh as well so basically and another thing i would like to add is that you were also a participant in international olympiad and astronomy and astrophysics back then yes. so it was uh, it's like two times you have represented your country in front of the world so yes. what's your experience like carrying the flag of your country or uh, your country bangladesh in your shoulders and representing it all of uh, all in front of the world it's i mean it's a huge honor also so what was your so, experience so the first time when you get selected for any international olympiad or any olympiad in particular you you feel excited that's the first sense you get you feel excited but the more you prepare for the olympiad and more you can come to know the how hard is the olympiad or how the exam distribution or how the medal distribution works then you start feel pressure so and when you arrive at the destination for the olympiad like when i went to india for the first time many i have seen many students having fun or they don't care about anything in the world back then they just wanted to enjoy the moment and i have also seen many people who didn't just uh who didn't want to want enjoy they just want to prepare themselves better or they were just want to prepare themselves so when back then when i went to india for ioa international olympiad on astronomy and astrophysics our roommate or our the room we had been issued that the room beside us was from the was the, the 
issued to the participants from Brazil. So we are chilling out. We are going to make new friends, making new friends. We are exploring the university. But the students from Brazil didn't came out their room in any way. Just they can just came out for the lunch, dinner, and they didn't enjoy our thing. Uh, what they did, they prepared themselves. So yeah, when you go into that situation, there are two kinds of people. As I said, you may be very chill. You are very happy. You are enjoying the life or enjoying the experience. And there are some kind of people who are very like worried about what about their performance, what they are gonna do. So that's a, a difficult task to manage. Like. Both. So when we went to the India for the first time for any international Olympiad, so it was first time for me. I I also feel pressurized because I have seen lots of people from around the country who are participating as the same platform with me, but they are highly uh, prepared. I feel pressurized that yeah, I'm not that prepared maybe, and I can, but I'm representing my country. If I'm if I, I can perform well, it will be, maybe we will be looking down upon. So that's the sense of feeling that I got. But you have to overcome that feeling and you have to do your best. It's not that you're uh, bearing a flag of Bangladesh. It's you're also trying to represent the Bangladesh in a way that no one has uh, Thing. Like you can also represent Bangladesh not in a uh, study sense or Olympiad sense. You can also uh, represent Bangladesh in a sense of manner. You can build up networks. You can show people that Bangladesh are good people. They are kind people. They are friendly people. They can communicate well. They are helpful. These kind of things can also be a way to represent yourself and your country. So. There is a particular aspect of different way of looking about flag bearing in another country. You can do it by your talent or you can do it by your ethics. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much. And we have a question from our viewer that which books would be good for astronomy? And another person also said the same question. Okay. So, uh, this question I get a lot, which books are important in astronomy. So if you are into astronomy, just because you are love, just because you want to know about astronomy, I would say start from any basic astronomy book. But you are, if you are into astronomy because you participate and you want to know the science behind it, you should start by reading some fundamental books like Fundamental Astronomy. And you can you can uh, look for astronomy Olympiad book list in our Olympiad Bangladesh Olympiad and Astronomy Astronomy Index, which is b d o a a dot o r g video award. There you can have a find a preparation uh, tab, and where we have a, basically explained which books are suitable for you in that in a particular uh, academic life. If you are a student of class eight to ten. I would suggest you should start from some outline astronomy. If you are a student of a college, you can start with fundamental astronomy. And also, if you are looking to read any Bangla book, I would <coughs> definitely suggest uh, Shabarjun Jyotir Vidya. And to my delight, I can also share a news that from Bangladesh Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics, we are working on a book we are going to publish next year, hopefully which will be used for not only astronomical studies, but you can also use as a textbook, textbook for undergraduate studies. So it, it will be helpful for Olympiad students as well as undergraduate students or any student particularly into astronomy who wants to know astronomy by the science behind it, the mathematics behind it, the physics behind it. So you can, but that's the case in the future. But right now I have three books in mind. First, is fundamental astronomy. Second is an introduction to modern astronomy or an astrophysics, and third is astronomic principles and practice. These are the three major astronomical textbooks that 
people all around the world use it. Achha, achha. I get it. Another question that all of us have in mind is that um, since you are a co-founder and also an academic instructor at Bangladesh Olympiad in Astronomy and Astrophysics, that means you have been looking over the work for past few years, right? Yes. And uh, gradually the uh, level is increasing. I mean, the potential level is increasing day by day, right? Yes. Do we, now my question is, do you think that Bangladesh Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics academic team is perfect to bring Bangladesh for, to bring a medal for Bangladesh? I would not say that we are perfect. No one is perfect in, in a particular sense, but we are trying our best. For the last three years, we are trying to improve ourselves, not improve, not just improve our students' study quality, also improving our educators and our leaders. So we are gaining experiences. We are gaining how to teach our students, how to, uh, how to like import astronomic education or how to do better in the Olympiad situation or how to better prepare our students in a way that they can uh, provide more outcome during their, their Olympic participation. We are not perfect, but we are trying our best at our level, our level because Bangladesh Olympiad and Astronomy Astrophysics is a a voluntary organization run by undergraduate students. You have to bear it in mind. Most of our advisors are professors of different universities or different uh, colleges, but the major work is done by undergraduate students who are, and as you know, Bangladesh has no astronomical institution. So what we are doing is totally by our own experiences, by our own hard work. If we are doing something uh, bad, it, it is not because we are bad at it, because we are lacking the experiences or back, lacking the lacking the knowledge of doing that thing properly. So, I hope that Bangladesh uh, gets a medal in near future. It, it's in a week or two, but we still need uh, many work ahead of us. We have to work hard and we have to prepare our students accordingly. And you have also been at the job for many times, right? So basically you have also seen a lot more students, also participants in the event. So basically what I want to ask is that, what do you think the quality of participants are improving or degrading? Uh, it also depends on the region of Bangladesh where the students are participating. If you are thinking about the students from Dhaka, from Chittagong, or from Rajshahi, the level of the student participation or their expertise on solving of the astronomy of Hello? Hello? I think our guest has is suffering from some technical issues. We will come back as soon as he arrives. Thank you so much. And I, I'm extremely sorry for the interruption.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host Sadman Azad speaking from Youth Talents, and it is to be mentioned that our instru- our guest is currently in Russia and at present in that region, extreme uh, storm is uh, going on. So as a result, we cannot continue the session anymore. Our guest has been disconnected, and uh, all of you are requested to drop any questions if you want. We will. Uh, be we will get to you as soon as possible and uh, we will provide you the answers given by our instructors thank you so much for have, uh, staying with us in our first episode of yt talks thank you so much well, assalamu alaikum <laughs>